two hours to the Charmony this Festival. This is the interior of the Penacony Grand Theater. Oh, it's quite exhilarating to be flushed into the air by Soul Glad. But why is the venue still closed when the Charmony Festival is about to start? And not only that, the entire theater is eerily quiet. No audience, no staff, no one around. Are we too late? Looks like the Charmony office was a flop. <laughs> was a flop at the box office. Yeah, I wonder how many tickets. Hey, that's not what we should be concerned about. <laughs> Let's explore around. Be careful, everyone. We will be free men as our fathers were. Hey, we also got the watchmaker's hat as well. Man, I so desperately do want to use. Harmony Trailblazer for this fight. Unfortunately, I don't have I, I don't have the relics for her because I didn't pre-farm for her. I pre-farm for Robin. Next time, baby. <laughs> Next time. Oh, hey, there's a chest behind us. I'm just gonna leave you be. Yep, I can sense we're almost at the end here, folks. So strap in because yep, we're in for a grand finale. I can just tell. What the fuck? Um, hi. What are these robots doing around? What the? Why is there one on the ground? This is getting creepy. Smash. <laughs> Y'all are damn bad. Okay, what am I supposed to look for here? What, this dead? This dead one? Wait, these two? Oh. Um, they won't suddenly start moving, will they? So many mannequins. Is this a fashion store or something? M -m March behind you. What? what? Ugh, you're so annoying. Stop scaring me. <laughs> Are these stop getting scared? Part of the stage setup. Even so, it's so eerie that the entire front hall is empty. Follow the guy through the ascending corridor. Oh. Something feels off. We're in the right place, right? There's no other grand theater in the dreamscape. So Sunday's messing with us? He said we'd have a final showdown on the stage, but why is there no one here? My apologies for the delay, March 7th. Uh, well... Speak of thy devil, and now she he shall appear. Uh, you scared me. Where are you now? I'm waiting for you behind the curtain. Uh. Following the Asdana tradition, I invite you to enjoy a stage play in three acts before the festival begins. History is a mirror reflecting the universe's true essence. Let's use this opportunity to delve into the rich history of Penacony and the eons. Within it, naturally, the future takes shape. Oh, shit. Let us commence with the dawning of the world. After the Dusk Wars, darkness veiled the sky and chaos consumed the earth. Watch Act 1. Enna the Order emerged. Destined to restore all existence. Oh, sweet, another history lesson. Let's go. <laughs> the first day. Okay, I thought he was gonna speak some more there. Uh. Uh. Also, what are you holding? The strength of sin is the law. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that song name. Oh, holy shit. They gathered nebulae and forged them into picks, thus creating a grand lyre with black and white keys. Strike the white keys and the sun rose. Strike the black keys and the moon rose. And so, the cycle Day and night arose. What the? That marked the second day. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into a fight here because I think I just killed the tension. What the hell? Why? Why are all of you just bowing down? Are they 
inviting us to enter it? I suppose, but there's... Ah, later. Later. Story first. Whoa, what the... Stage play act one, O2 Prisoner. What's this little cartoon we're gonna watch here? What the fuck? Whoa, this music! Okay. <laughs> the atmosphere here looks similar to Sunday's inner world. Perhaps this so called stage play is created with his abilities. This act is named Ode to Prisoner. Given the atmosphere here, I believe it's about Pentagoni's past. I thought things were finally looking up as I managed to dodge prison during my recent trailblazing expedition. <laughs> but now it looks like I'll be back behind bars again. Yeah, y'all hear this music right now? I genuinely wish to avoid a violent clash with my esteemed guests from afar. Therefore, I've arranged three acts before the situation becomes irreparable. I'm still not agreeing, by the way. We're still fighting you. Well, let's start with the time when Penacony was still a frontier prison. But first of all, let me yank out the bird that's somehow in your little mind dreamscape. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I think we're gonna need to fight that creature. Never mind, unless he ignores me. Another time. I don't, I don't think we have the time right now for just simple fights. Feeling lucky. Um, you'll all occasionally discover from scattered dream bubbles in the map. These are them being unconnected to the passable platforms. These dream bubbles kind of form a bubble bridge. I was like, it's a record of a control panel. The corresponding dream modules and the trajectory will be highlighted. By interacting with the control panels, the dream modules can be moved alongside the des designated trajectory. When moving dream modules, the scattered dream bubbles will, on the surface, will also move with it. Okay. When the placement of the scattered dream bubbles meets the requirement of forming a bubble bridge, uh, the dream bubbles will congeal. When this happens, approach with a bubble charge to manifest a bubble bridge. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Whoa. A prisoner named Hanun ignited a struggle for liberty and emerged triumphant. IPC referred to it as the War of the Frontier, while the Asdanians dubbed it the War of Independence. Okay, getting trippy already. Oh, okay, another one. Uh, okay, more of these puzzles. Oh, that leads to a chest, though, so... Give me a second. Also, what are all those puppets doing to that balloon over there? Hello? What are y'all doing? Hmm. N no, that's... Wait, no, I I'm not supposed to do this, right? Or am I? Just act around some major fights until the end of Act 3. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to avoid like normal fights if at all possible. Oh, there we go. I, I guess I was supposed to be on the other side after all. We've shattered the cages and expelled It's the true that Hanunu was a legendary hero. But it must be acknowledged that while he bestowed freedom upon the prisoners, he didn't grant them true liberation. Thank you for staying, uh. honorable travelers. However, the three nameless stayed on the planet, endeavoring to spread the tenets of trailblaze throughout the oh, frontier. Shit. Alas, their efforts proved futile. You know what? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna bring an Acheron here. I I want to skip all these fights if at all possible.
All or nothing. Bring forth the gleam of old blades. Uh, where, where does this lead? Hello? Oh, downwards. Whoa. Another prison. Not Once again, as Donna was engulfed in war, this time the enemies originating from within. The prisoners remained prisoners for the rest of their lives, fighting for freedom rather than living for it. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna switch out here because I feel like we're approaching the end of this maze. Oh. I hope you like this oh, what are these enemies? On a scorched earth. As you can see, their sentences have long ended, and the IPC guards have long been expelled. Yet, these prisoners remain enslaved, not by external forces, but by the confines of their own minds. Freedom permeates every corner, except fragile souls. It gives solace only to those who believe in its existence. Prisoners, this is my order. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. Oh shit, we're actually finding it. Hey, what uh, fight while enjoying the show? Whoa! For music! Time, not only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion. What the hell are you? Pass confined and caged. Nah, I don't even want to know what you do. I'm just gonna kill you. Whoa! This music, though. Sure, I'll play along. Uh -huh. Ow! Pass locked into a target. Attack pass to destroy incoming damage. Okay. Watch your head. Oh, to distribute to like the whole team. Okay. Or you know you could just not attack at all. That that'd be much better for me actually. Holy shit! You, you hear this freaking choir right now? Also, you are extremely tanky. knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Zero points. I hope for an end to strike. Free. Head your bets. All right, can you go down already? Uh -huh. Okay, um, you seem pretty cool, but uh, honestly, not in the mood for the for you right now. God, yeah, I feel like that enemy's gonna be a pain in MOC. Thus concludes the first act. Amidst a raging war. The frontier prison headed toward becoming Land of the Exiles. This must be how Penacony was constructed. With the aid of outsiders, the prisoners were finally liberated and established the Land of the Exiles. <laughs> I mean, I, I noticed that too. Why does it have boobas? <laughs> However, it appears that Sunday aims to convey the spiritual plight of the prisoners more than the physical aspects of imprisonment. Hmm. Uh, this show is a bit too literary for my taste, but the battle part is quite easy to understand. <laughs> anyway, we've arrived at the exit. Let's go. <laughs> People who skip all the dialogue and it's only pay attention to the battles. It's just, uh, I don't get what's going on, but the battles are fun. <laughs> streams of stars into ink oh back here okay creating symbols to be pronounced and counted they molded stardust into flowing rivers assigning the righteous upstream and the unjust downstream thus all things were marked 
and the world learned to discern between good and evil. Hmm. That Whoa. the third and fourth days. Hi, Robin. You mean like interact with it? No, we can't. This music though is getting fucking grander and grander. Oh, hey, here's where the birds are. Oh, and a chest here as well. Holy, this fucking music though. Yeah, then we're, we're gonna come to a, a fight here. No matter how much you try to convince us, Sunday, we're not with you. And something right here. The series of plant festivities, Glauks. Okay, owl man. Thanks for the picture frame, I guess. And also a new track as well. Agnes Aeon. Hmm. Stage play, act two, O oh, to Fool. What does this one entail? Ode to Fool. This must be the second act. Well, the surroundings are different from before. The stage decorations look a bit tidier now. It looks a bit, a bit more lighthearted. Behold the ensuing tale. A struggle for power. Panacone witnessed the ascent of the Sep... Give me a second, Sunday. Um... All or nothing. Seven major lineages. Green tree, grass, flower, bird, beast, fruit, and insect. Insect? Yeah. Peace never truly the leader of the Alfalfa. Oops, I didn't mean to. To defect to the IPC, trading freedom for survival. However, his eldest son slew him in the name of righteousness. And ascended as the new family head. Jeez. Um. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way here. Oh, I need to build myself a bridge. You there. You there. Wrong way. Land of the Exiles was in disarray, besieged by both internal and external perils. Though the seven major lineages appeared united on the surface, each harbored their own ambitions, leading to ceaseless conflict. Oh. Hi, Birdie. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Sunday is uh, talking all, all sorts of uh, bull dookie right now. You might want to stay away from him. <laughs> oh, okay, now we go down there. Uh, yeah, it's just puzzles out the puzzles out the puzzles. We are the pillars of this mansion. They withered away in the White Desert event, orchestrated by the Alfalfa family. Because Master shaped you from clay, but forged hmm. you from fire, I'm superior to you. Oh, and we have to go on the way back. Uh, wait, okay, let me get the other pieces first. Nope. There we go. Got any more interesting stories for a Sunday? Sunday? Huh. Not so talkative no more, are you? Only when go 
Wilfer Wood led the family to land of the exiles and earned recognition from all five major lineages, did Panacone earn its new name, the Land of the Dreams. Okay. As we all know now. Okay, uh, another guy coming up. I want to go back to Robin now. I want to keep using her. Oh, boy. You're different. What the hell's that mohawk? In purging this mansion of the poison spread by the lurking instigators. Uh, you want us to help you? <laughs> what do you need? I wish they could regain their reason and cast away the shackles of hypocrisy. This is the second act. Looks like it's about Penacone's journey to becoming the land of the dreams, during which the family plays a crucial role. But this new master seems like a bad guy to me, don't you think? Perhaps this is the truth Sunday is trying to express, mm. if you read between the lines. The Harmony changed Penacone just as the guards once did. Looks like we've gotta help those guys kneeling down over there calm down a bit. Right? I guess? And the first way for them to calm down is me by stealing their money. Help the, help the puppets complete the play. Artist. <laughs> In the absence of my master, I am free. But without their guidance, for whom shall I sing? The decaying human heart finds rebirth only within the calmness. Proclaim... Uh, the new master. Okay. Should I even try to get the wrong answers here? <laughs> I mean, it said calmness, so of course they want him to be calm, but... Hmm. This puppet isn't responding at all. Did something go wrong? Uh oh <laughs> Okay, okay, it's just invalid. Okay, no extra dialogue for getting the wrong answer. Their noble voice once resonated throughout the cosmos. Master, uh. I hope you will return in due course, and I shall stand vigilant, awaiting the reward for my loyalty. Only reason can shield people from the lingering poison of the past, proclaim a new master. I'm gonna try one more time. It's the same every time. Okay, yeah, so don't bother getting the wrong answer. Master, now that you have gone, I shall wait no longer for my reward. I shall seize what is rightfully mine. And retainer. I stood as the most loyal guard among all the servants. Now, with my master banished, it's my right to assume control of his dominion. Okay, make everybody calm. Uh, in the absence of calmness, there exists no path to liberation from the clutches of death proclaiming a new master. Put everybody in a calm state. My former master has long departed. But why do I still fear the remnants of his creation? And last one. He's no longer here. I thought I'd be free, but I'm not. Now, without my master's command, I'll have to seek guidance from the blind. Only the calm down ones can evade the insidious influence of the hidden instigator. Yep, just make everybody calm. Master is no longer here. I must seek a new master and serve them faithfully. That's not what I... Okay, whatever. Oh, wait, last one. Butler. I shall be my own master. Or I shall return to my former master. I shall not submit to a new master under any circumstances. I wish they could regain their reason and cast away the shackles of hypocrisy. Yeah, no, this is pretty much just denying them their freedom. This is all sorts of wrong. Who can grant me true freedom? Advisors Misha's VA? Um... I guess maybe. 
I, 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 I couldn't hear Misha at all in that voice, but... Hmm. Thank you, dear outsiders. My servants have regained their sanity. Heed me, one and all. Your former master shall not return. It is through righteousness and unwavering support for one another that we shall attain true perfection. Cast aside the veils of hypocrisy and embrace one another. Get ready. Looks like another fight is about to begin. Is this what they call it? Immersive theater? <laughs> Oh, no answer for that. Yeah, this music is fucking amped. What the fuck? What the hell? Presence? Oh, you're present now. And what, the next one's future? What is this debuff on us? Okay, it's just... Windshear, but in a different language. In other wording, I mean. Oh, we know it's like multiple other. Okay. Present Imburian rivalry will focus attack on this. Okay, so just target lock. Okay. On everybody. Hmm. Just... Sure, I'll play along. Uh -huh. Ow. Yeah, I kind of do want my Tobas to be a bit faster. Not gonna lie here. It is unpredictable. Right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Tonight, souls shall embrace. Stars Echo! Yeah, let's not play this creepy music anymore. Let's play this. Plus. Much happier music. Or maybe I'll take it off. Is it enemy Kafka, by the way? Check its ultimate? Uh. Oh shit, wash away all sins for you, precious blood shed for you, feast that is set for you, a cup runneth over you for you. Uh. Literary. Literary fragment, okay. <laughs> Got a cheap for breaking him. What's your Tobasa speed? Uh just like 120, because I got attack boots on her. I'm trying to optimize your speed, but yeah, my luck like just has not been that great. Zero points. Head your bets. Holy shit, just one shot uh, that guy, <laughs> even while his shielding was up. <laughs> Watch your head. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot, Robin. They remain but slaves till the very end, with the illusion of freedom. Thus concludes the second act. Amidst an illusory harmony, Land of the Exiles charted its course toward becoming the planet of festivities. This is how Peniconi fell under the family's control. Since the arrival of the Harmony, the Land of the Exiles has undergone dramatic changes, not all of which have proven beneficial. This guy really loves dramatic scenes. <laughs> Bet he comes from a whole lineage of stage performers. I mean, I don't think I don't think you're wrong there, March. But okay, last act. Also, birdie. Oh, what the? That, that's kind of trippy. The birdie's in the mirror, but not in reality. <laughs> that is somewhat trippy. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and act three. Oh. Uh, oh, back here. They used the planetary rings to establish the law, forging a code of conduct among the masses. Give me a second here, I want that chest. All or nothing. A grand lyre with black and white keys served as an instrument, while symbols of articulation and numerical notation took the form of musical notes. The downward flowing river became a melody. And the canon of law dictated. Thus, all mortals found their unique place within this symphony. Mm. That marked the fifth and sixth days. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to interrupt uh, Sunday's dialogue here, so I'm just gonna wait until he's done 
In case I do interrupt his dialogue, which I don't want to. Stream four. Wrong button. Oh, what the? What are you sitting on? Oh. Oh, it was a track. Okay. Continue and reach Act 3, which is probably the last one before we had to come to blows. Oh, right here. This guy is really into these puppets. You're telling me. <laughs> also, hey. I see y'all. The theater's so empty because uh, Sunday, uh, yeah, didn't allow any people in here. All right. What else you got for me, Sunday? Sage, play Act Three, O to Order. Yep, where we are now. And the atmosphere here is completely different from the previous two scenes. Actually, yeah, you're telling me. Holy fuck. <laughs> Actual holy stuff here right here. Uh, can I go back? <laughs> I don't want to be here. No, I can't. Also, I see over there, Rudy. This is the concluding act of this play. I... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sunday. Hang on. The birdie distracted me. Anyways, continue. This is the concluding act of this play. I have showcased the past and present of Penacone, hoping that my desire for change resonates within you. Nope. And now, I shall reveal its future to you. Uh, and what is this future? Stream 4. That's not how people should live. Stream four. A gleam of old blades. Yep, the longer I go into this, the more I'm seeing how crazy Sunday is. Or how determined he is to complete his goal. Also, wait a minute, there's a puzzle up there. Whoops. Um, I probably should turn that back. Uh, unless it says progress. Oh, what a king who shall govern the movement of the stars. Kings of all things. Hmm. Yeah, Sunday, I have the feeling this utopia you're constructing is not as uh, great as you make it sound. Stream four. The gleam of all things. New Penacony dreams. Hey, what's that about? After presence imburied in revelry enters a charge state, interrupt its charging. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's for the battle. Then open 300 treasures in Panacani. Alright. What else, though? Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else, is there? Unless... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, there we go. That's okay. That's progress. Oh, hey, another weird puppet uh, enemy. Give me a second. Let me put Robin back in. Hey, aren't we supposed to kick off a short story and 
have a fight here just like we did in the previous acts? Oh. Why aren't any of these puppets saying anything? Perhaps we'll need to complete the story ourselves, just like we did before. So, do you think their mind needs tinkering or something? M maybe? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that boobas and fucking those fucking cheeks? What is this enemy? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Based on experience from Act 2, it seems you'll need to employ the clockwork once again to personally bring the performance to fruition. <laughs> um, okay. Satisfied? Uh. Untunable? Ugh. Uh. We no longer have need for a king, for we have become kings of all things. Farewell, former king. Okay, they, they can't be tuned. No They're stuck being satisfied. You can't do anything here. Uh. How did it go? I can't change emotions. Apologies for my negligence. I forgot to inform you that the final part was scripted long ago. Oh. Let our previous king recount it to you. Now it is time for the final rite. Prepare for battle. Looks like we'll have to fight again. Clocky had Ina's eyes? Oh shit, I think he did actually. Not you pointed it out. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, come on. Tomorrow in Harmonious Chords. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The music just got ten times more intense. Sure, I'll play along. Oh, boy. Oh god, you're tanky. Oh right, I need to break your weakness. What? Let begin. What did she just try to do? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I oh, effect rest it. I hope for an end to strife in the world. A test. Hmm. Okay, you want? I'll do this. Tonight, souls shall embrace. I love that you can hear applause in the background as I try to do Robin's <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> yeah, let's make this a bit happier. Screw your order, Sunday. I reject you. Got the defense? Answer me. Zero points. Head your bets. Huh? And here, huh? <laughs> it's also super ironic. I'm using Robin to fight Sunday. Or maybe I'll take it off. Uh, all is calm. Ha, ah, you miss. That's the power of a veteran, baby. Go down. Holy shit, we just one shot that guy. <laughs> While you shall transcend its delicate nature. This is the final scene. Mm. It's much more straightforward. Yep. He wants to expel the harmony and establish an empire based on the order. So zero harmony and no longer a mix between the two, just full order. Hmm. So, once this stage play concludes, it'll be time for the main event. The Charmony Festival. That clocky shit was fucking creepy. So they're just stuck being satisfied. They cannot change whatsoever. Yeah, uh, that's not a way to live. Having no emotions except for satisfied. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. 
Oh shit. <laughs> One hour Thank till the Charmony Festival begins. Perfecting all things in the heavens and on earth. Then they rested from the labors of creation. Yet all beings cried out to Enna. Under the banner of the Order, you have defined all things in the cosmos. But this made us realize that we are but puppets in your hands. Thus, on that day, all beings united and cast the Eon into the abyss of oblivion. This grand theater looks totally different. Is this the power of the Order? Everyone, get ready. This could be a tough battle. Yeah. Uh, approach. All right, I'm. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Team IPC here, and Robin. Only fitting I fight Sunday using Robin, right? Let's do this, Sunday. Gotta prove once and for all your ideal. Your ideology is wrong. The seventh day. Oh. Cheers and chants reverberate. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What a way to set the stage, Sunday. The order is dead. Behind you, what's the record? I'll go get it later. Oh boy. Let's do this. Look, there he is. That concludes everything related to the order. What are your reflections on this, my dear guests? Yeah, nah. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is but a trivial blip in the annals of galactic history. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. I, I, I'm never agreeing with you. <laughs> You've arrived Not on this. At the perfect moment. The Charmony Festival is about to commence. And it would be a shame if you were absent for the Harmony's prologue. Allow me to extend my warmest welcome once more. Welcome to Penacony Theater. The very core of the sweet dream. The abode of the Stellaron. The grand stage of the Charmony Festival. And... The very place where the future of Penacony shall be determined through conflict. And the very place where your schemes get smashed to smithereens. Why don't you invite us to this duel? Where's the Stellarod? Why am I not seeing it? <laughs> nah, I gotta end it off with the cool guy dialogue. And this is the very place where your schemes get smashed to smithereens. Your unwavering faith in the Trailblaze is truly impressive. True goodness can only be achieved through faith. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. Especially when those people are driven by someone else's will in their sleep. Exactly. Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himeko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. Right. People no matter how good the cage looks. It seems you have misunderstood my intentions. Allow me to clarify. My desire is not to resurrect a fallen Eon, or become one myself. My sole objective is to create a paradise free from Eons, where the Order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. A paradise exclusive to us human beings. That's not the case. Mm. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise, you would be the one reigning supreme. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Nope. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our paths and reveal to the universe the true path. However, before the prelude to the future begins, please take a moment to ponder the questions I've posed. 
Is darkness equal to daylight? Oh shit. Are sinners equal to the righteous? Uh oh. If you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? Oh, here we go. Oh, we're fighting these idiots first? Okay. Oh shit, you're a boss? Really? Damn. What the heck is this? Past, the present, and the eternal show. Yeah, this is getting creepier and creepier. Your answers? Yeah, fucking <laughs> the T-Post flying. <laughs> Zero points. Yeah, that's how you know you got truly insane. Uh, what the? You just, did you just pour Soul Glad on me? Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, right. That's a CC effect. Shit. Ow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after the big guy first. I'm not letting you win, Sunday. Never. Oh, what? It switches? Oh, it switches between all of them. Yeah, can't even check what this thing does. It's just all three of them combined. Wait, so if I injure this guy... Okay, no, it's still injuring the... Okay, so they all share a health bar. Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. The chain nine card means shared HP. Okay, good to know. But you're like, okay, you're the boss now. Go nubby. And then it would change again, like, I guess once I break you. I'm asking questions. A test. And Salmo P, say achievement unlocked. Listen to the final song of life. <laughs> okay, so what happens if I break all of you? Like at the same time? Just a question. Easy Numbi. Liquidation! Does uh wait? Nope. Oh, Robin doesn't even overwrite this battle theme, dude. Bust. <laughs> or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. None claim the order's grace that all puppets will receive more damage. Ah, so there is a purpose to breaking them all. Answer me. Good. I'm asking questions. Let's see it. Kill these guys one at a time. Zero points. Second Watch phase. You. Puppets are about to enter Dance's Symphony. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, okay, never mind. Thank God for Venturine. Oh, God, not Topaz. Sure, I'll play along. Shoots. Okay, who's in command? Oh no, all three of them are in command. Shit. Harmony and unison. What the heck? Got the defense. Uh. Okay, if I do the same thing and break all three of them again, maybe. Answer me. Maybe, just SAS maybe, I'll be able to do more damage to them again. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Future's playing a tune and charging. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh. Yo, uh, Topaz, please recover. Thank you. Evaluation begins. Liquidation. Right. in victory. Need to play the bomb game. May stop. Let's break you two. Your answers. A test. Head your bets. Huh? Watch your head. Robin. Free. And on you here. Break. Yes. Damage. Answer me. Zero points. Ah. The dice. You want us? Or does command is about to descend? Not if I had anything to say about it. Test. 
Yes! Uh, well, we're not done yet, are we? I already know your decision. Oh, what the hell, Sunday? I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these 107,336 stones. Oh, boy. The mighty and powerful strings of harmony are at my disposal. The supreme tuner. Did you, you fucking just burn them all? Dominicus. Dominicus. Let's go. <laughs> Every time you break a layer of toughness, you gain a collective shield. Okay. Collective shield can take damage on behalf of allies. Okay, right, and shield them all. Oh god, hear this! You hear this battle theme? Yep, this is a, the childhood dream. This this thing appeared right in Robin's teaser. Once more. Let's play this in slow motion. Makes it more epic. Uh, who do I target? Okay, one of the numpy weakness. Your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Next. Uh, okay, I'm assuming there's also a point to breaking all of them, maybe. And okay, they all share a health bar too. Can't lose this one. Liquidation. All right, broke two of them. <laughs> oh shit, our collector shield's gone. Uh, it's okay. It's all okay. in. Thank God, I got Sunday here. Disorderly, no wise and receptive as you are. Uh. Answer this. Why could the harmony and the order merge into one? I don't know, you, you answer me that. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Yeah, I figured that out. You need to break all of them. You too. Um, can I break you in time though? Please, quiet down. Crap. Uh, I need to Dr. Rachel to Never follow up here. Stop thinking. Yes, 40% baby! Get out! Get out! Alright, I'll call your bet. Uh oh now it's just you. Well all of them are broken, so you can't unleash your ultimate attack at all, can you? <laughs> oh you have three layers of shield. Whoa, that's a bitch. Them up, oh, noisy. Work day without God. Ha! Screw your puppets. What are you doing? Uh oh. Ow. Your head. Zero points. Next. Next. Noisy. Okay. Oh, attacking, breaking one of his. Okay. The toss of the bars gives us shield. Got it. Um. Okay, I can break you. I can also break some of you guys. I'll go after you. Test your knowledge. Uh, miss... Yeah, miss a follow-up, unfortunately. Okay, you want Robins here? So, everybody, come up. The stars echo because of me! Okay. Break you. Let the asset valuation begin. I can have Dr. Ratio follow up on that one. Fail. Get out. Nice, okay, I'm got two of them. Questions. Uh, Never can I get a third? Thinking. Nope. Grazio. Get the puppets, Aventurine. Enjoy eternal peace. Ha! Effect rested, bitch. Oh yeah, this collector shield is kind of saving me right now. Oh god, what are you doing now? A Lorendo. Uh oh. Watch your head. You need to AOE hard. Well, that's a thing. My team's full of single target 
people. Oh, but on the bright hand Let's side. Your all broken, baby. Better hedge your bet. Let's go all out. Oh, right. Investing in victory means playing the long game. SAS Pukipi. Go after Knowledge Sunday. Is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Boom. Give us my shield. The dice have been cast. Okay, okay, only has one face. Bust. Alright. Eat this. Maybe I'll take it off. Zero points. Zero points. Yes. Get out. Nice, we've broken him. Who's this one? Go, Numphy. Who would win? <laughs> A pig? <laughs> or the fucking order god themselves? Back to singing, Robin. Okay, you guys recover. No dirty tricks, alright. I think we just questions. go after Sunday now. He's about no he's almost dead. Noise. Really? No follow-up? Ah. That's fortunate. Easy, Numbi. Still no repayment? Disorderly noise. Watch your head. Okay, you're back. Oh, uh, with three bars again. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, thank god for collective shield. What is that? What is that attack? Ow. Okay, we're still good, though. Ah, uh, but collective shield's gone. No dirty tricks on May song bring us victory. Okay, Robin. Quiet down. Do you have answers? Should we go for him? Yes. Let's let's, let's focus all on him. Noisy. Zero points. Next. Nice. Robin. So Help me beat your brother up. <laughs> oh, Rocket, who's this one? <laughs> You know what? Yeah, Venturine burst right here. Burst? Yeah, he's almost dead. Or Let's get him right here. Maybe I'll take it off. Burm. Watch your head. Disorderly noise. Get him, Dumpy. I'm no, okay, Ratio's gonna have Never to finish us off. Go. Fail. Fail. Get out, Sunday. Yes! <laughs> Is it over? The time has come. Nope, of course not. Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. <laughs> yes! Done, huh? The cavalry has arrived! <laughs> My boys! Let's go! Show no mercy! Show no mercy! <laughs> Oh, that was fucking hype. <laughs> wake up. What happened now? Up. We back to reality? Hey, wake up! The sun's frying your butt! <laughs> yeah, thanks for thanks for that, March. Thanks for saying that. Huh? What the hell? Are you alright? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? I don't remember anything. Why does that line sound so familiar? Didn't I shoot the sun out of the sky? <laughs> Just shoot it down. My fucking voice. Uh, if, if I had one complaint, I wish that cutscene was just a bit longer. <laughs> In any case, since you remember what happened just now, well, that's put my mind at ease. What happened while I was out? Are we in a dream or in reality? Uh, it's a long story. Simply put, Don Hum 
use the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle and summon the general to help us just in time. Yeah, see, it feels like, like a bit of an anticlimactic end. It just ended so quickly. <laughs> and then we return to reality. Look, this is your room. Yeah, I feel like we <laughs> that was done way too quickly, but eh. Still a hype fight nonetheless. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're alright. Come with me. <laughs> Not going to come chat with me, sleepyhead. Oh. Swan? That voice. Is that Black Swan? Yes, I know, game. I know about the, like, the shared toughness bars and everything. Don't worry. Also, hey. Men. Hey, oh. where are you going? Uh, going to be an old friend. Let's just say that much. Hey, we meet again, sleepyhead. What? What's Miss Black Swan doing here? Nothing, Miss March. I noticed she was awake and wanted to check to see how she was doing. Though the strike from the general was timely, its destruction was also immense. Mm -hmm. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Oh, and that's not what happened. Oh, so that's what happened. Thank you, Miss Black Swan. Don't mention it. After all, I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? Would it bother you if I walked with you for a short while? You did find kind of odd that how it ended so quickly. Wasn't Sunday's boss supposed to have multiple faces? Hmm. Of course not. But you're not planning on doing something like last time. Are you? <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> I've never harbored any ill intentions. Well, not when you are around, anyway. Himeko and Mr. Yang are probably still busy. Let's go look for Don Hung first! Yeah, can we talk about how fucking how fucking hyped that was when you fucking see Don Hung's fucking dragon just peer through the fucking puppet? God, I want to watch that cutscene again. Hey, there's our boys. Oh, Boo Hill's here too. Look, he's still talking to that cowboy. Hey, hey. You're awake. How do you feel? Well, fork me. You must be that Stellaron they were talking about. I'm fine, thank you. Don Hung, why do you have to blab about everything? Fork, huh? I prefer... <laughs> I prefer my... I myself prefer spooting. Allow me to introduce him to you. Whoa. This is Boot Hill, a galaxy ranger. During our pursuit of a certain person, we crossed paths and just so happened to uncover a shocking plot being concocted by Mr. Sunday, which is why we sought you out to help the Astral Express save the world together. I want Boot Hill to spoon <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> no need for thanks. Now the Galaxy Ranger's principle is correct every injustice one sees. That's how you bought in the Sienjo put it, right, Don Hung? Uh, more or less. Wait, hold on a sec. This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the Express? <laughs> Uh, good question. It's, uh... Uh... Was it again? Uh, Don Hung, do you remember? Uh, <laughs> come on, don't keep me in suspense. I need key bad. I need key bad. You're looking kind of sus. <laughs> no, that ain't it. Oh. I just can't seem to recall. <sighs> Weird. Oh. The chip hasn't registered any malfunctions. Swan... <laughs> You, you did something, didn't you? It, hmm. I can't seem to remember either. Uh, what's going on? Hey, put it together. There's a memo keeper right next to us. God, Vic. 
Forget about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Ain't gonna stop us from piecing together the story anyhow. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it in the memory zone. How are none of you piecing it together that Black Swan took, the, took those memories away? <laughs> Everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himigo, shall we? She's now a minor star on Panacone, and the entire hotel's concerned about her well-being. You're right. Let's head to the lobby then. Let's. Oh, so hey, Budo. You guys go. I'm an outsider, after all. I'd rather not disrupt the long-awaited reunion. Okay, and now we meet up with Himiko and Wells. Also, yeah, what's hap what happened to Sunday afterwards? What is- yeah, what, what, what happened to him? Did he get put in jail, or what's happening? Hey, oh, King Yuan! <laughs> That's alright. In these times of conflict for the sake of utmost safety, it is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. Furthermore, despite the IPC's eagerness for success, it prioritizes peace above all. And the family, trapped though it may be, professes a desire for harmony. The Alliance has always won people over with reason. I firmly believe both parties can indeed put aside their differences. And the general possesses. I should didn't mean to skip the last part and come to a peaceful agreement. The deep understanding of the greater good, with the Cienjo Alliance mediating, peace for Penacony is within reach. You flatter me, but ultimately it's been all down to the Express. Without your efforts, this sweet dream paradise <laughs> would have been claimed by the last remnants of order before there was even a shot at peace. Yeah, honestly, he does look kind of out of place with that, <laughs> with his uh, Sienjo outfit. Well, would you look at that? Here comes the big hero. We meet again. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, what's nothing really. I do what I can. Let me guess. You were thinking about me again. <laughs> if it isn't the galactic baseball. Yes. A hero with <laughs> Yes, finally someone acknowledges me by my title. <laughs> Are you okay? I heard you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Yang. There's nothing wrong with her. She practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't spared. And that guy locked you both up. <sighs> it's a long story. But at least Mr. Sunday took it easy on us. What happened to him, by the way? He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. In other words, he imprisoned us within his consciousness. Thanks to General Jing Yuan's destruction of the Harmonious Choir, we were able to escape. Uh, he used that tuning on us, too! Does that mean that we were almost imprisoned as well? I can confidently say now, he was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken us down without so much as lifting a finger. Speaking of the Oak family head... Yeah. Where is he now? Exactly, thank you, Don Hong. It's complicated, but in a nutshell... Uh. He's now the former Oak family head. He's been fired. <laughs> the IPC has named him the key figure in the family's Panacone split, citing a threat to cosmic peace. He must represent the family and answer for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the Order as enemies, declaring the turmoil an internal rebellion. This move effectively barred the IPC from intervening in family affairs on both hmm. moral and rational grounds. Everyone really has their own agenda, after all. Then. What's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement in the Charmony Festival. They're siblings, after all. <sighs> hmm. Why the sigh, General? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. 
The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key members and I have agreed to consult one another before the upcoming negotiation. Do any of you wish to sit in? Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, mm. the crew will naturally accept. However, if the IPC has any reservations... Why, of course you're welcome. They've mentioned that your team is a trusted ally of the IPC and Pentacle, so there's no reason not to welcome you. Besides, if there can be reliable observers from the Astral Express present, discussions will go more smoothly. So, what do you all think? <laughs> well then, we shall oblige. I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. <laughs> I think I'll just head back to my room and start packing. Actually, yeah, where's the next location we're going to? What's the next planet? Not to worry. Hmm. Himiko and I won't take care of things. I'm afraid I'll also have to return to the Express first. <laughs> the conductor is worried about us. It's best I go and explain the situation. <laughs> yeah, also, uh, Jingman, can we get another Jade Abacus? This one was just a, uh, you know, just a one-time thing. I can call you again, right? Thank you. What about you, hmm? Will you join Welt and me? Or have you got other plans? Uh, I'll go with Miss Himiko. I have to help Mark pack her suitcase. Don't know why, but something tells me I only have one real option here. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Although I'm not too sure of the reason, the representatives from the IPC have insisted on her presence. Allow me to lead the way. Follow me, please. Are we gonna... The negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby. Everyone, please, follow me. Alright. Oh, yep, I see... Wait a minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I see them. Wait, how... How's he back? How's he back? Hang on. TP. Down Mr. there right now. And Ms. Topaz are here too. How did he get back? <laughs> Who is that over there? Senor Dr. Ratio. <laughs> This assembly is quite something. How do you return? Hi, adventure. Hey, look, <laughs> the members in my party right there that helped me defeat Sunday. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Hi, fellas. It's been a while, my Astral Express friends. Hey, adventuring. How are you back? I would also extend my sincere thanks to you. General of the Lawfu. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. Oh. Looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure. Leave it to me. In summary, it's good news. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. True, I guess we all wake up when, like, they die, but... Wasn't... Hmm... I wasn't adventuring circumstances, like, a bit more special than just straight up dying? Hmm... In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint I, I need an explanation. The Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. That sounds like good news, I think. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now that's something. Will permanently relinquish its claim on Panacone's sovereignty. This feels way too good to be true. So the IPC does see the big picture. What's in it for you guys? Does that mean eventually took a hit for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's what it takes to bring peace to the entire universe, it's a price I'll gladly. This feels way too happy to be the actual ending. Did Sunday actually bring? Hmm. Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Hey, my man. <laughs> then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest in the recent calamity in Penacony. Ultimately, both parties have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration, offering technical support for the reconstruction of Penacony. 
The floor is yours for the Skrullum, what the? Skrullum. Everybody's showing up. It's a smash trailer. Holy shit. <laughs> Organic life's unrelenting search to understand the realm of inner spirituality is something I both admire and envy. Inorganic life has no mechanism to evoke dreams. But when my mechanical impulses are activated, my inspiration circuits will start to operate, and I will enter a state defined as imagination. Every time, within the realm of imagination, there emerges a fire from the shadows. It is warm, bright. I frequently ponder this flame might represent the essence of intelligence. A cluster of inspiration ignited by high temperatures. The future direction of the universe may well lie within it. Alas, they are nothing but projections of my thought system to me. Desired, but unattainable. But after learning of Peniconi's accomplishments, I have come to realize that the flame is not beyond my grasp. After deliberations with my partners, hmm. we have decided to defer the progress of the simulated what? universe project. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I need my rewards. As technological consultants in the research of the dreamscape and memory zone. So that these assets may be better used to serve humanity. No, don't, don't take away my sim universe. Come on now. That's the most fun thing in this game. Not only that... We've also established contact with the Garden of Recollection through the IPC. Okay, now this and is just... They pledge their support what? for our research endeavors. I'm truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Even the... Journey. What? The Cosmos's brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. It's yay, it's a big W for everyone. I keep getting the feeling this is all too good to be true. Agreed. Hmm. Hard to imagine members of the Genius Society taking an interest in such mundane research. Right, and they're not usually the good guys in mostly anything. Never mind. At the end of the day, this is a positive outcome. Almost too positive, if you ask me. I'm still suspicious that something <laughs> else is still going on. Everyone insisted that she be there. It heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for Pentacony's plight. I trust that everyone will surely reach consensus in the upcoming negotiations. Yeah, and the more surprising thing is that Dr. Ratio insulted nobody there. <laughs> Looks like Panacone's future is decided. I'm wondering, is there anything else the crew is concerned about? Peace is our greatest wish. Beyond that, we desire nothing else. <laughs> well, that's good. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. You may now depart with peace of mind. The Alliance will deal with all subsequent procedures. Hmm, sometime later. That's the uh. case. It appears that we have nothing else to worry about on Penaconi. Looks like it's time for us to embark on a new voyage. Well, I guess see you for now, Jingyuan. Hmm, yeah, what's the next up in our journey? Sounds good to me. You two head back to the Express first. I'll pick up March and deal with the checkout procedure. Oh, also, Miss Black Swan, you have a matter to discuss with me, yes? Mm -hmm. Nothing escapes your attention, Miss Navigator. You've been with us this whole time, huh? <laughs> In any case, she and I will be waiting for you and March on the Express. Let's go. Our time on Penacone has come to a fruitful end. Oh. Penacone's journey ends here. I guess it was pretty fruitful. I guess it was. Uh, I'm not ready to say goodbye to this place yet. This is all due to your heroic deeds in Penacone. Everyone's been moved by your integrity and selflessness. Well, hey, Venturine. Finally settled now. Well done, friend. Friend. <laughs> and Senor Ratio, hey. I am truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Penacone. The cosmos's brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. Yeah, wait, we're still missing a few people. Akron, Gallagher, Firefly, where are they in all this? Hmm. Also, <laughs> Dr. Ratio is not being mean. What, what sort of twisted reality have we entered into? 
maybe this is truly the ending and maybe I'm just being a bit paranoid. <laughs> but I don't know, something feels off about all this. The navigation meeting is about to start. Yeah. We're all waiting for you. If we walk in the light. Also, hey, Swan and Boot Hill still there. Become so lively. Oh yeah, it's a teaser for Robin's album, which is uh out now. I will listen to it like probably tomorrow. Um, okay, got some achievements here. Do stuff in those fights earlier. And defeat the Harmonious Choir Dominiscus. Also, let me just go ahead and get my uh, money right here. Hey, what are y'all doing still aboard? Ahem. Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence then. There's some meeting to decide our next stop. <laughs> How are we doing this? By show of hands. Are you coming with us, Boot Hill? What? <laughs> Hold your horses, cowboy. It's for those to decide. Boot Hill, what are you what are you still here for? Black Swan, we're coming here too. What in tarnation are you guys doing here? Allow me to explain. Mr. Boot Hill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the Express for their own personal reasons. Huh. As you all may know. The Astral Express never declines any passenger whose heart yearns for the distant stars. Therefore, they will be traveling with us for a while until they reach their destinations. Whoa, the Express is going to be much livelier now. <laughs> but, Miss Black Swan, you better not use your Memo Keeper abilities to pull any pranks. <laughs> Understood, Miss March. I promise you. Damn, does that mean Swan and. See me in your room? Taking a break. <laughs> uh, yeah, does that mean Swan and Boot Hill are gonna come with us to the next planet? That'd be fucking sick if that was the case. I know they're temporary, but still, if they accompany us, then hell yeah, I'm all for it. Uh, don't! You're freaking me out! Alright, alright, now that everyone's met everyone, we can continue our navigation meeting. Firstly, Pom Pom wishes to thank everyone. If it weren't for you all unearthing the truth about Pentaconi, Pom Pom would have never known where Mikhail and the rest had gone. What they had to go through was regrettable, but I reckon they all fulfilled their wishes. And it was thanks to all of you. Thank you, everyone. Now then, we come to the crux of this navigation meeting. Uh. We must decide on the Express's next stop. Let me introduce our current options. Uh. Where are we going? This is from Himiko, the oceanic planet of Lushaka. Lushaka, ooh. Planet composed entirely of water. Many aquatic races reside there. Of course, it's also the home planet of the venerable, nameless Mikhail. The second choice is the agate world Melustanen. Melustanen. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster. And the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Oh. <laughs> Today it's celebrated as a planet of undying allure. <laughs> Our gent is gonna definitely tag along to that then. The third choice is Edo Star, a planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. However, hmm. the distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. The last choice, courtesy of Black Swan, is the glass belt. Holy, so many planets! A belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by the Lord Ravager Zephyro. These days, it's apparently known to house one of the branches of the Morning Actors Troupe. Ooh, so many options! I'm seeing stars already. Do we actually get to choose here? Like, they're not gonna make just four planets just for each choice, right? There's no way. Next up. Everyone will select the destination that they wish to visit, and then we'll put it to a vote. Uh... Oh, fuck. Um... Edostar and Glass Belt... Hmm... Let me read the descriptions of each of those places again. Okay, Mikhail's homeworld. The beauty of Drilla ascendant in Melusine. Edostar is where it's under assault by the Antimatter Legion. And courtesy see Black Swan, massive belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by Lord Ravager. And it's also the, one of the house branches of the Morning Shoe actors. Hmm.
I'm gonna assume my, my decision doesn't matter here, but honestly, I think out of all these planets right here, I'm most interested in... Hmm. Melustain. And besides, well suggested it, so... I think... I think I want to go to Melustain, honestly. And yeah, see like what the beauty or Argenti has suggested is all about. I'm gonna go here. This trip to Panacone has allowed me to see another side of the Stellaron disaster. In terms of symbolism, the state of the dreamscape bears a striking resemblance to the Agate world. Visiting it might deepen our understanding of the Stellaron. Hmm, that makes sense. If that's the case, I vote for the Agate world too. Uh, I personally think the situation on Edo Star might be more urgent. As nameless, should we not extend a helping hand? March is right. Though the fact that the distress signals have ceased means we're probably too late. Mm. But I still think we should investigate the situation there. Three votes for the Agate World, two for Edo Star. Looks like we have a winner! Next stop, the Agate World, Melostanin! Then this navigation meeting is adjourned. I'll go check the warp jump coordinates. Everyone can catch up on some rest in the meantime. When it's time to make the jump, Pom Pom will make an announcement. There's still some time before the jump. Mm -hmm. What should I do? Speak of March, speak, speak of Dan Hong, speak of Black Swan. <laughs> How about a chat? Over here. Hold up a minute, I want to chat with the gang first. I'll say Boot Hill. What are you doing over here? This Astral Express sure is comfy. But I got one tiny problem with it. How come there ain't no potent drinks on this ride? I can live without malt juice. At least stock something else. Like that white gem. Calm in his dirt and not too pricey. No way, our express is only rated 12 plus. Is Himiko's coffee not strong enough for you? I'll help ask the conductor. Um Do yeah. you use that 12 years of age rule against a mighty ranger like me? <laughs> <laughs> All these years out in the wild, and now I'm bunking in luxury. Gotta say, it's quite the treat. What about you, Dan Man? Huh. For some reason, I'm suddenly stricken by the feeling that we haven't crossed paths in quite some time. Well, you were absent for the entirety of Panacone. It's indeed been quite a while. You're always in my heart, Don Hung. Uh, I should have known better than to expect anything serious from you. <laughs> this time, you must disembark of us when we reach our next destination. <laughs> Got it. What about you, March? Let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. <laughs> Please let this be a normal school trip with the freeze. No way. Scooting on the main street. <laughs> what are you mumbling on about? Mumbling? I'm praying. <sighs> the last couple of trailblazing expeditions have been downright terrifying. It's about time we had some fun, cozy, and cute adventures for a change. Come on, start praying with me. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. <laughs> okay, and yeah, everybody else. One Himiko as well. <laughs> You're fast becoming an excellent trailblazer. It's an honor to be able to watch you grow. Hey, stop flattering me. Yep, I'm super duper awesome. Don't downplay your achievements. Everyone has witnessed your growth. I've known many warriors in my time, and only a few achieved the kind of growth you have. Back home, where I'm from, you'd be rated uh, at least an S-tier. An S-tier Valkyrie? Uh? <laughs> it's not been easy for you these past few days. Hey, a lot bit more about that, Bob. Downtime. I'm looking forward to seeing how you'll perform on our next journey. Ah, well. <laughs> And last but not least, Himiko. Come to think of it, <laughs> this trip to Panacone was the first time we trailblazed together, wasn't it? I hope we can trailblaze together again someday. It was too dangerous. I wish she hadn't gone down. I hope we can trailblaze again someday. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll have plenty of time to spend together on the Express. So there'll definitely be more chances for adventures like this. Turn in early today. You've really been pushing yourself hard recently. 
If you don't take this chance to recharge, it could lead to long-term problems. It seems fine when you're young, but it's a different story as you age. Okay, that's everybody talked to already. Now, last but not least, Black Swan. Uh. Oh, you're here. Seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole. <laughs> really does seem somewhat surreal. How about it? This journey of beautiful dreams. Was it to your liking? Holy shit, five options. What a roller coaster ride. It's just so peak. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> it it kind of left me wanting more, you know? Seems like there's still a lot of loose ends, no? Nothing short of a deus ex machina. When the next survey comes, I'll be checking a, <laughs> the two easy box again. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, there still feels like a, a many loose ends we still have to tie up. There's a rich scent of curiosity here. Hmm. Such memories can be irresistibly captivating. So... How about you hand that small parting gift back to me? Oh. I'm quite eager to have it back. Oh, of course, the card you gave me. Right. Hmm. Oh? What happened? Is this not the card? I wasn't the one who broke it. <laughs> hmm. Never mind. I just stumbled upon a particularly fascinating spot in your memory. Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. Uh. This farewell gift I gave you isn't really a compass from the memory zone, but merely an empty light cone. Remember when we entered the hotel in the dreamscape for the first time? And I procured a few trinkets from your companions. Their functions are similar. This way, I can always be attuned to your location. Ready to assist immediately if you encounter any threats. But this is not its most intrinsic function. Light cones are slices of light used to encapsulate solidified phenomena. This empty light cone is the same. It can etch your memories in their most vivid form. And then, allow me to admire and manipulate them, turning them into unique mementos. All the world is born from the power of mind and soul, and that power is memory. Mm. To prevent ourselves from being forgotten by the world, we must make the world remember us. Or use our memories to recreate it. Life, seemingly vast, offers but a scant collection of impactful memories. Some joyful, some sorrowful, some light, some heavy, but you are different. Memory is a reflection of the future. Within that reflection, I see your unparalleled worth. You have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world. Your memory can illuminate the universe's future path, and that memory will be as scintillating as the star clusters you see in this porthole. Hmm. Wh which is why you want to collect my memories? You make me blush. Tell me, see if I'm about to ascend. <laughs> the memories I have of you are not enough for me to predict a future that lies too far ahead. But I can tell you one thing. My favor towards you stems from a more profound reason. The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. <laughs> what does that mean? Stop speaking riddles. <laughs> Patience, my friend. I will reveal the answer. Oh, come to on. You. Really? That time is not now. Turn around and take a look at your friends. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. Revealing everything at this moment would be a bit of a buzzkill, 
wouldn't it? I don't care. So I want to know. <laughs> I'm looking for an opportune time. A time when you're totally at ease. Perhaps when the night grows hazy and you're about to drift off would be the most opportune. How about one fine night? Ooh. I will prepare the candles, aromatics, and even a cushy couch to create a cozy dreamland for you. And then I will tell you <laughs> the answer in the form of a little bedtime story <laughs> to lull you to sleep. Black Swan reading me a bedtime story? Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ahem. Hi. Uh. Hello. Attention all passengers. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. <laughs> it looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just leave it at that for now? Ah, that's right. As a small token of compensation for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. They hold great significance to me. Okay. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. <laughs> hmm. You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. In the year 2058 of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, the universe resumed its intended trajectory. The kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panacone, the land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered. Briefly on Klopoth's anvil before vanishing in the blink. Well, of the dead and those fated this is the end. remain in their eternal slumber while the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence and then went about their own ways. The cosmos emanated a vitality characteristic of a new era. All for the modest price of a brother and sister's mild grief. How, how's that sister doing anyways? I'm surprised you haven't even talked to Robin about this at all. The silver rail unfolds. Hmm. The story of the Astral Express comes to a close. Maybe a story quest in 2.3. <laughs> Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter. A in new the chapter. Blazing expeditions. Penacony, the land of dreams. The end. What? Um. What? Hold up a minute. Wait, <laughs> we're actually getting a credit roll right now? <laughs> what? No, uh, that's uh, March 7. Himiko's Himiko. Joachim Nok. I, I'm not gonna say that. Firefly, Firefly Sam. Uh, that's Akron. Black Swan is Black Swan. Kakavasha is Aventurine. Sparkle, Sparkle. Viritas is Ratio is Ratio. Sunday is Sunday. Uh, okay. Cameo appearances. Several. Sampo, Topaz and Jade. Argenzi. Uh, Jingyuan and the Alliance. A loving memory. Uh, Mikhail and. Okay, it's not, that was too quick for me to read. May this journey lead us starward. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Uh. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then... Uh, tell us. It's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get your blanket all tucked in, folks. Black Swan's about to tell us a bedtime story. <laughs> well, let's start with Ooh. conclusion. Oh, hey. Was defeated we all recognize this, didn't we? Day. Everyone in Panacone failed. The fuck? No one survived. I... You want to run that by me again, Black Swan? What? No, we weren't defeated. Excuse me? But don't panic. The truth 
as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. Shoo. There's still a glimmer of hope. And that's why I'm here. Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. Okay. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Okay, yeah, so I was right. That flaw, Something is wrong with this whole ending. Hmm. Are you ready for it? Do you remember everything? When the clock turned back, the express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. Yeah. You were bewildered back then. And then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Penacone together. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo and accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. Right. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the watchmaker from Gallagher. Okay, so there is a reason for who, the, how, for why the ending was so abrupt as it was. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme. You were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility and unsheathed her sword. Right. <laughs> Black Sun's just pretty much recapping the whole story so far. The strike foiled Aventurine's plan and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dream Flux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. Right. As well as the truth about the dreamscape, the Stellaron, and the bellboy, Misha. You split up with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Holy shit, they they really had us with a fucking fake ending. What? I I legit thought we were kind of ending there, but I was just like, no, this is like way too good to be true. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious with the trailblaze triumphing over the order and Penacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Penacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Hmm. My first encounter meets you at the, hus at the hotel, sorry. I was attacked by Sparkle disguised at Sampo, the fake death of Firefly and Robin. Akron unsheathed her sword and revealed the power of nihility. Death is the disguise of dormancy. I, I guess we'll look at each one. Little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? He's only a segment of memory in a dream bubble. Right. But his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the Trailblaze. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. 
So, right. Why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel? I forgot to mention that. Yeah, the, when we first met him, he was outside. Huh. The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dream. Oh shit! At this very moment. It's not over yet, boys. Oh shit! Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. The train is about to make the jump. This story Five, is not over. Four, not by a long shot. Three, two. Oh shit. <laughs> uh. Oh. Back again. Learn about the situation from Black Swan. Misha, what what is going on here? Hey. Another one. Again? Wait, are we are we in a fucking time loop? Wait, oh no. Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. What happened? What is this place? This, the Deja Vu is strong with this scene. <laughs> I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that this place is the rift between dream and reality. It's in dream and reality. It's only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? Right. He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron. The collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members. And the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. So what did happen? Did Sunny just at the last second just like, nope, I, I don't lose this fight. Nope, I'm trapping you all within order. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. Is all this just a dream? Did I fall asleep on the express? Now I'm back at the beginning of the story? I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world. Allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. Oh shit. <laughs> And that included a lot of memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality. And reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. This is what makes Anna's dream so powerful. In this paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination. Lifting the crisis in Penacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. <laughs> and the true fucking quest begins. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. That's insane, though. So we're dreaming that we actually succeeded and just go on about our happy days. While Meanwhile, we're actually so trapped in the dream. We reflected the moment we arrived in Asdana. Yeah. That whole dream sequence with Acheron was the beginning of it all. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, 
I was still influenced by the power of the Order and fell into hallucinations. However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. What can we still do? <laughs> For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. Right. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. What? So we still have a fine chance, so we lost. Didn't expect it, it comes back to Misha. Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Enna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the Order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen, Please, Black Swan, guide us to those with a strong will. All right. Jeez. With me. Oh, option to try using clockwork. They're the ones who accept Anna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. Holy shit! I legit with thought no we're at the end, but holy, we still have fall. quite a bit to go, haven't we? However, there are still other things we can do. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we're back here again and everything. Oh, wait, are we revisiting the scene where... No, where Firefly dies? Yeah, I did see the optional thing there, which is use clockwork on somebody. And if I'm guessing... If I'm guessing right, I feel like these guys are going to be stuck in the satisfied state. I'm just guessing. Alrighty, let's go ahead and resume where we last left off. Alright, so now we're with Akron and Black Swan now. This is the promised land for us! The hell's not... They are so immersed in the mani maniacal fantasy that they completely fail to notice your every your very existence. Yep. Yep, they're stuck being fucking satisfied. This is creepy, by the way. Clocky being freaking strung up like this. Like he's literally being puppeteered to be satisfied. <laughs> There's no other emotions exist. This is yeah. Your, your clockwork doesn't seem to be working anymore. Yeah, it's been, like, completely overridden, which is insane to me. I'm assuming it's the same for you, too. Single-minded, this person dies into the dreamscape, not having not the slightest reaction to your arrival. Yep. Looks like there's no way to rouse this person from their slumber now, not even with your clockwork. I, I, I think I can just ignore the rest of these guys, right? They just all just trapped in a dreamscape. Also, there's some memory zone memes here, but I'm gonna ignore them. We're not here for fighting, we're here for, uh... Actually, wait, I can just TP there, can I? Yep. Man, wow, there's so many people lost in a dream, it's insane. Uh, we're in it for a long haul here, folks. Let me drink some water first before we begin. Yeah, even the Ina eye as well is, like, super freaky. Yeah, I, and I think what ticked me off the most about the false ending is that we didn't see Robin at all during that. Not even Sunday. We didn't even we didn't even address them. And also, adventuring just coming back out of nowhere just like that without with zero explanation at all. That yeah, that is definitely what made that ending super sus. Although I think um, it was heavily implied. Like if you read Argenti's um, Argenti's Argenti, Argentina, Argenti's like dialogue during the trailblaze quest he said he came across aventurine and it's heavily implied that aventurine just rescued him from nihility that black and white zone that he was trapped in which i find kind of funny if that did actually happen but yeah i think uh aventurine is still there jingyuan killed the boss clearly that was fake yeah, and I, I also heard some of you guys saying that maybe the whole thing with Don Hong and Boot Hill was 
like not real or something. I'm not sure how true that is. I, I think it was pretty much real. And maybe Don Hong did call the cavalry in. But maybe, yeah, but the ending I don't think is lining up with our memories here. Also, yeah, the fact that Misha could not exist in reality. Yeah, that's our anomaly that we have to go off right now. But okay. Wait. N speaking of Robin. The hell? Here we are. It's... Robin? Oh, yeah, jeez, look look at the... Look at the icon as well on everybody lost in the dream. It's just a fucked up clocky. But, Robin, what are you doing here? Finally. You've arrived. You're where to? Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. So <laughs> she... And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. Through sheer will. Holy shit. <laughs> I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we uh, going to look it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Oh god, here comes the freaking creepy church music again. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... That's not what Sunday said. <laughs> Then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day. Nope. <laughs> they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. That's that's no, that's definitely not what he said at all. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky. So we should help them return there, right? The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir. Namely, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacone merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacone want to wake up. How do we do that? Now comes the tricky part. Yeah. How do we do it? I'm curious too. That doesn't sound simple at all. Maybe we should just go back to Enos. No, I'm not giving up. I'm not gonna joke about that. Nah, nah. That doesn't sound simple at all. Hmm. Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where she was completely unguarded, guiding her to uncover the truth herself to make her regain her consciousness. But we can't do that for every single person, can we? <laughs> Holy shit, the church music is loud. I might want to turn it down after this. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. Yo, y'all are awake too? Hey, everybody's here. Avengers assemble. <laughs> Yo! This My boys. Moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? You've woken up too? Well, well, well. Someone enjoys making a dramatic entrance. <laughs> thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the memo keepers in Penacone too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. Okay, so this is pretty much every playable character you played so you you had seen so far. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will like you will gradually awaken from the dream. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. Right. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. 
Okay, hear me out, fellas. What if we make Clocky somehow make him super big and make him ring all <laughs> everybody to wake up from the dream? If breaking through from the inside proves that sounds like a really good idea to me. Seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. Yeah. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria and the remarkable phenomenon known as synesthesia dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. At this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would uh, intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core. Don Hong, call Jing Yuan again. <laughs> However, those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the order instead. Oh yeah, we actually don't want that. The real challenge is... The last thing I need is to fight Yanching again. <laughs> ...huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time. <sighs> Don Hong, do you have a second Jade Abacus? Looks like the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath will be yes, the only solution. Yes, call on our homeboys. No. No need for that. Uh. Keep your wants and lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with Wait a minute. favor and free will. <laughs> it's easy. Here's what Buto's plan, but does that mean Don Hong calling in Jing Yuan never actually happened? Him calling Jing Yuan was Ina's dream. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, considering he, he hasn't actually used it yet, yep. Yeah, everything after the fight seems to be part of Ina's dream. Ina's trying to give yeah, was trying to give us a satisfactory ending. When in fact it turned out to be the most Yeah, <laughs> unsatisfactory ending because everything was just too convenient. Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. Oh shit. It's about to call in the the the, the fucking homeboys. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? And a thousand of them? Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals, and actually, they're right. And that's why we have a tacit understanding among us. Among us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? Is that a... the hell is that? A butt pluck? No, that, that looks like a bullet with... Actually, I don't know what that is. It's the relic I returned to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Because it's a burial artifact. Oh. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls. Oh, countless galaxy rangers have paid their respects. Uh. Countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are galaxy rangers coming from all corners of the cosmos. Holy shit, what, the, what are the other galaxy rangers going to look like? <laughs> without questioning the cause or counting the cost. Because we abide by a common principle. Honor. The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. Comes the dawn. We stayed silent for far too long. Now it's time to remind all the cowards, oppressors, and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penacony themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. 
I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. At a girl. That includes my brother as well. Yeah. Him too. Anna's dream is too cool for him and everyone else. What are we gonna do about him exactly? Where's he at? Your plan sounds well conceived. Do we have to fight him again? It appears somewhat idealistic and romantic. The flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path? I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path, but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so... You're the key in the end, I assume. Uh, all, <laughs> all roads lead back to Acheron. The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> now that our roles are assigned, Let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. All right. Wait, what What do I do again? Are, are you guys doing all the work or am I just sitting by and doing nothing? May I have a moment alone with you? Uh. There's one more thing I need to explain to you. Oh, yeah, your origin and whatnot and your talks with the Galaxy Ranger guy. What's that all about? <laughs> this grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Whoa, this, this music though. The beginning of all the stories in Panacone. This yeah, this is, sounds like some fucking end game music right now. Yep, we're nearing the end here, folks. Whatever we're facing, I'm prepared. This is where Firefly uncovered the truth. If words still carry a, per a profound significance. Actually, where's she, by the way? Indeed. She was the first to discover the world beyond the shores of death and shared this truth with all of us. Has Firefly, like, full-on left Panacani? Or is she still around? Hmm. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. Firefly. Yep. She awakened from the dream ahead of others, discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. Mm. As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. Mm. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what, but our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Are you ready? Ready. Let's embark on that final stage. Let's do this. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. All right, I'm closing them. Yep, we're gonna have to fight them again. Oh, team must include Harmony Trailblazer. Is it gonna give me... Okay, it's gonna give me a trial version. Yes, I actually do want to use Harmony Trailblazer for this. Okay. Who would synergize well with a break build? I guess Akron could, because she can break pretty often. I mean, I guess could just bring anybody, right? They'll just all do super break damage anyways. Sure, we'll have our main stars up here. I do want a Venturina along for this, as well as maybe one other Panaconic character. Uh, is there a sense in putting two... <laughs> no, I don't think there's a sense in putting two uh, Harmony characters. That one's a bit weak. You can check their stats. Um, can I? 
No, I, I can't. It's not lighting me. Oh, well. Black Swan? Yeah, actually, Black Swan would do wonders with Acheron, so... Let's do it. Full-on Panicani finale, team. I'll do all that I can to assist you. Let's end this. Oh. How long has this rain been on the Oh shit, the hands are fucking okay. Now they're moving if I towards the fucking black hole or whatever that is. It has lasted for decades or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully, we've guided those lost souls to their lives beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they won't be reduced to puppets of the Nihility in their death. You see, the shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But it's still raining. I know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean. Hmm. Leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the path striders. They emerge from the depths of Ajax, hmm. seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it. Leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms. They have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh. So this is how it is. Oh. I'm already dead. God damn. <laughs> okay, didn't expect that. What a horrifying fucking image. Oh yeah, and Acheron's in a freaking red and white form. Yes. Are you watching over me? This is my duty. As Acheron the Watcher. Watcher of the Acheron River. Oh. I'm guarding the path to the abyss of the Nihility. Guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. Oh, what? Okay, for the long side, I had no idea where this thing was going. But now it all makes sense. <laughs> Holy shit. But if this is what the departed ones expected, should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that not to Google Acheron. It's essentially a river to hell or something. Oh. She saves people tainted by denialty. Acheron is a Greek river in mythology. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Some tasks have to be done, even if they're <laughs> pointless. Exactly what you said. <laughs> experienced that much already. Please extend your hand, and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me, and fulfill it. Wow. Um, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to skip that, I meant to turn off the UI. Hang on, let me play the previous line again. I'll carry your wish with me. And fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. And will I ever see them again? Yes. 
That is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express. Your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm. Your narrow escape from death. And your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. And Pentacone. The hometown to which oh. you never return. Yeah. For countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Oh. Okay. Oh, it all makes fucking Are sense now. That is why. Oh. This fucking reveal. <laughs> Yeah, Tiernan, wasn't he like the the one of them that died during um Yeah, he he passed away long before Mikhail did. Take my hand and come with me. We will leave this place. You'll embark on a long, long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not. As a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's the color of existence. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. Yeah, the guard, the gunslinger, the guardian of the express, so. yeah. You'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Now it all makes sense why she's here in, in Panacone. Thank you. Rest in peace, Tiernan. You're a real one. Death be the end of your boundless dream. And there's a red text again. Guiding your path to the waking world. That's exactly what she said to us when we first started Panacone. It all comes full fucking circle. I, I fucking love this writing, dude. Xiao Ji, please write the rest of Honkai Star Rail. Please. Oh, it's so good. Welcome. To the horizon of existence. You have the same place of Venturine is. This place is one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless. And it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Oh, I'm here. Whoa. Hey! Aventurine, my boy! Are you out there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even turn my camera that much. <laughs> between reality and imagination. All right, Gray. What is she doing here? <laughs> the hell? Are these my memories? Life is akin to a oh. winding labyrinth where memories serve as our soul companions. May your schemes be forever concealed. Aw. Oh, I hope we see him again, honestly. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. To the imperfect tomorrow. To the imperfect tomorrow. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? Say your final farewell to Acheron. Uh. We don't know the answer yet, but we're about to awaken from this dream. Or perhaps such is the answer itself. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from this dream. Will he come with us? What if folk don't want to wake up? Will I get to witness your hidden power? I don't think I should be saying that at a time like this. Uh... Will he come with us? As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. So... When will people actively save themselves? The answer is 
When they are in desperate situations, like a drowning individual in the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair will follow. I firmly believe that the fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks, but in truly desperate situations, they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance, as for now. It is time to guide them, not as a savior, but as a nameless among those mortals. In this way, you will reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. And we shall see the sun once again. The rain is intensifying. Uh. <laughs> Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few. <laughs> well, in these, wait, and ain't this a bit of deja vu? <laughs> so far, you have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Oh, this music though. Might I ask uh? if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? I feel no fear. Oh, we only have like one answer this time around. I feel no fear. If there is a vast, lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality, a realm without death, where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve, living blissfully ever after, I would ask. Would you wish to stay? No. I would never want to live in a dream. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers. Followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I will blaze a trail without hesitation. Let's fucking go. <gasps> yes. I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. Ace the bright moonlight. <laughs> uh. You exist in the nihility. And you watch over others to depart it. Hold this piano though. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task, I've come this far, haven't I? Even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. Well, 
hardships you must have experienced. In that case, allow me to do something you must do. Oh. Please, tell me the name. Oh. Uh, name reveal. What's your real name, Acheron? Oh my god, they're just teasing us. <laughs> there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory. A creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey. The origin of the vibrant red hue in my life. And the most fervent element amidst every tempest. That's my name. Uh? Ryder. Ozen yes! We, yes, confucking confirmed! Raiden May! Raiden Bosin Mori May. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Also, wait, is that May's actual middle name? I, I never heard her middle name before. Raiden fucking May. This OSC is from the battle between Mei and Kiana in Honkai 3rd? Oh, I actually never heard of this. Uh, yeah, I never heard of this track before. Raiden B. Mei. Oh no, it's a title. Okay, okay. <laughs> Con fucking firmed. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in <laughs> But please believe me, that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, Whoa. it will appear once more. Let's end this false dream, once and for all. <gasps> Oh my god, did everybody turn to stone? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, falling from the sky once again. What you must do is ponder its significance. Then return to the waking world. Whoa! Hey! The crew is here! All right, once again, we're feeling. Let's go. Have you broken free from the dream of order? Yes. A uh, true boss this time with three phases. Let's do this. And hopefully, I don't struggle in this one. The seal of ill fate. Boom. Another journey still worth of oblivion. I guide the wandering soul. Gotta put this in slow motion because <laughs> it just makes it more epic. Can't lose this one. Boom. <laughs> oh shit, the battle music changed as well. I think. Yeah, come on, keep hitting us. See what that gets you. Yeah, I'm keeping it on slow speed, just makes it more intense. Watch your head. Everyone keep Got up. one, okay. I need to get these ones. Clocky, go! The dice have been cast. Oh, yeah, actually give us a shield. A bigger shield than a veteran's is. You have the full three phases. The order in its entirety. Actually, I can just break all these with background, can't I? Yeah, it's all yours. Noisy. 
All right, let's go, Raiden May. Go. One, two, three. It too shall fall. Firm. Yeah, he's going down. Disorderly noise. I have 5,000 shield right now. Holy shit. Nobody resonating. Ha! No sing is responding to, to the conductor. Ow. Jeez, that does like 4,000 damage. Okay, everybody's back up. Rain clocky. Memories are ever beneath the silent waters. Lies an endless oh yeah, right. I can I can check the, like this this trailblazer's uh, stats. How much break effect do you? Okay, only like merely two hundred break effect. Not bad though. <laughs> it's better than mine at the very least. The Boom. No dirty Ow. Power of money, baby. Ah, shit. Uh, the damn CC. Oh, wait, I'm free now. Okay. What now? Can I break any of y'all? Only you. That's fine, though. We'll take this one step at a time. Also, yeah, they all share a health bar, so I'm attacking him anyways. Oh my god, the fucking choir, though. It's getting fucking intense. Nope, I'm not letting that happen. What, actually, yeah, let me go and uh, activate Trailblazer's ultimate. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin! Let the show begin! Help me, Clocky! <laughs> I still love this dance animation, by the way. I love that we give Clocky a high five. <laughs> I weep for the departed. Let's finish a Sunday. I'm not even sure that this is Sunday anymore. <laughs> this just might be order itself. It too shall fall. Boom! Down! Super break damage, let's go! Looks like I've got him. Everyone okay, that's <laughs> much lower than the trial versions. Eh, it's still pretty good damage, though. Oh, come on, you're almost dead. Oh! Alright, come on, let's go to phase two now. Okay. Ow. Ow. Hey. Ah, uh, okay, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Ascend to the heavens! <laughs> this boss is so fucking epic. Ah, oh, what? Break the shield to dispel the harmonious... Oh, you have the Japar shield. Don't you? You do. bust. Take it off. That's fine, though. The seal of ill fate descends. Yep, doing semi decent damage to the shield. Oh yeah, just one Arcana stack just does six percent. That's good. Another dun -dun -dun. leading as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. Yeah, keep hitting me. See what that gets you. Okay, Ventrine does nothing, but it's okay. He's he's doing his best, and that's all that Awaken matters. Oh, interesting. I can still break them <laughs> while the shield is up. And that's weird. Again. It just yeah, just shields up from damage, and that's it. I can still, <laughs> I can still do this. Beneath the silent waters. 
Slides an endless abyss. <laughs> Boom. All right, Hamari's Let's core has been dispelled. You want? Let the show begin. Clocky, give me a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Here, all yours. Words can't describe how much I love that animation. Uh oh. Nope, we're good, we're good. Help me, Aventurine. I weep for the departed. Let's uh put all your little puppets here to rest. Dust spring. It too shall fall. Oh, so yeah, we got the whole fucking crew here as well. What? Oh, you just resurrected them and activated your thing immediately? Ah, shit. All right, I don't think I can break them on time. I think I need to break Sunday himself and get the shield. Listen to our song. Yep. I, I need the shield. Ah, what? Why are we all CC'd? Okay, fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, shit. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, Robin! <laughs> there seems to be another kind of sound coming into the Order Symphony. Oh, we hate it. to your new track? <laughs> Panacone's first, last disharmony. Oh, I'm getting fucking goosebumps right now. Use click to use Horizon's Echo from afar to attack enemies. Those imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slam the whole fucking Astro Express into you. <laughs> Yeah, Pom Pom fucking joining the fight, running him the fuck over. Must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. Wait, I think this is Robin's new track. It's like, what? Um, Hope is a thing with wings. I think it was. Oh, there's no lyrics right now, but if it's anything like Wildfire, it's gonna play in the last phase. Don't let me down, Hoyo. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or... Maybe I'll take it off! Your order's at an end, Let's Sunday. Let's do this. Disorderly noise! Memories are ever beneath the silent waters. Slide an endless abyss! Yeah, I'll fight with the power <laughs> train ship. The endless train I found. <laughs> Run Sunday the Another fuck over. Justice. Leading as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. I fucking love Pentagoni. This whole fucking story is so special to me. Here, all yours. Did you come here of your own still water? Alright. Oh yeah, the train's almost ready to ram into Sunday again. <laughs> come on, let's get to phase three already. Dust ring. It too shall fall. Alright. Oh. All the work of creation has been complete. Phase three, let's do the this. Day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. Oh shit, he has a full on face now. If your paradise can save more people, here we go. <laughs> I will. Nine health bars, holy shit, but you're weak to everything. Yes! Will stop fading. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is so hype. I can't contain my fucking excitement. Nine shield bars, though, holy crap. 
<laughs> All right, take this Sunday. On second day, grant the calendar. Take this train, bitch! <laughs> Run him over her! Everyone, keep up with my tempo. Listen to our song. Oh, I love the song already. I swear on words. What would you like to know this time? Again, the ill tidings manifest. Yeah, he's weak to everything, so that makes the fight a bit easier on me now. Oh god. He, oh, he's gonna be super powerful once he gets up there. I have to stop that. <laughs> On the fifth day, Grant's rules. Uh-oh. Uh... Going all in. Yeah, I kind of need that eventually. I mean, I think, I think this shield should be enough to protect us, but I don't know. On the six day grants meaning. Uh oh. Uh oh. On the seven day grant dignity, about to witness. Uh oh. I hope the shield's enough to protect us. Uh oh. What the fuck? What is this fucking Adam shit? Uh, oh, uh, ow, oh no, okay, that went through right through my shield. We're so good though. Homeboy Venturing still coming in clutch. Awaken from your dream. The wheels are fed. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him, Don Hong. Yeah. Let the show begin! Oh, lots, okay, down to the last fucking shield bar. Let's do this. He's charting again, okay. Come on, Sunday. This has to end. You want to achieve the paradise we promised. But the order is not the only choice. True happiness. Lie in defying the nihility. Embracing that life offers. Bust. Oh, Thunade is time to put this to an end, my guy. Take it off! Watch your head. Yeah. Holy shit, that's a crap ton of shield. <laughs> Alright, take this. Super break damage. <laughs> Boom. Listen to our song. Be our determination. <laughs> what would you like to hear? All yours. Come on, Akron. I weep for the departure. Let's finish this. One, two, three. The two shall fall. Okay, still thirty percent. We're almost there. Everyone, keep up with my tempo. The will of the week. Boom. Six percent. Come on, Sunday. It's time to concede. I swear. The will suffer. Oh, this song, I love it. It's, it's such a perfect mode to play it as well. Oh. This almost surpasses wildfire for me. The threads of death again, the ill tidings manifest. I swear on words. On the third day, Grand Language. This is the end, Sunday. It's time to give up order. God, that was such a hype fight.
And hey, yep, the, gang, the whole gang is here. Why does life slumber? Because someday. Oh. Everyone. <laughs> We will wake up from our dreams. <laughs> Great fucking answer. Okay, don't kill Sunday now, please. Yeah, that whole fight, <laughs> the fucking music buff shot up my motivation. <laughs> oh, that was such a great ending. A fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams. It soon faded in chaos. Absolute fucking peak. Xiao Ji, my guy, you cooked. You absolutely cooked. 48 system hours. When a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse. A paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for eternal separation. Actually, yeah, who's narrating? I, I don't recognize his voice. And Eon succumbed to slumber. Elio? <laughs> Is it? Some celebrated hmm. this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses, mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn, a tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of everything for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. I thought this was a Venturine at first, but no, his voice is not cunty enough. Reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. There we go. There's our true end. Not that false ending that was whatever that was in the previous. Uh, that's a thought. will fade away. Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the torrent eagles, looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the torment eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Penacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, hmm. to illuminate the night sky of another world. <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah, I meant Conti in a good way. <laughs> Is, yeah, is this Robin and Sunday? Or no, it doesn't sound like them. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star. Or no, maybe it is. Light, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever. And its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars. Or maybe yeah, not them, it's them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can't be them. It's just trustful boy and guideless girl. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a deal. 
It's a deal, then. This is our promise. And nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet! The actual end of Panacone. Ah. Now the true credits roll. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's still question mark as as March. Panacone as Gallagher. <laughs> Dream Master as Sunday Servant. Gopherwood as Dream Master. Script Supervisor Elio. <laughs> Okay, an, an actual, actual credit roll this time around. In loving memory of Rosalina Jane Estella, an ex survey aboard the Express and a young scholar brimming with enthusiasm and curiosity. Hailing from Zorina Earth System, enlightened by remembrance and dominated by academic cliche. She majored in memory dynamics to seek out a broader academic possibilities. She joined the Express crew to build Asdana and launched her research into Memoria. Holy shit, this is too quick to read. <laughs> her research results form the theoretical basis for the entirety of Panacone. And then Tiernan, yep, a former guard on the Astro Express and outstanding gunslinger. During the war, he was one of Panacone's most accomplished generals and a sole winner of the Fang Hunter Medal. Yeah, we found out to hunt and yeah. This was until the day a self and I found his relics. He was a pure, noble, and selfless warrior, and Mikhail Carr legwork. Yep, we know all about him. Wow, this was this was so good. I'm reading I'm reading the stuff in my head because I feel like the credits are scrolling a bit by a bit too quickly for me to uh read that fastly with my mouth. Man. Made this journey lead us starred. Now that is an actual satisfying ending. Now there is our real, real ending. It's a pleasure to hear your voice again. <gasps> Jade! Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Ooh. Okay, now an actual post credit scene. Okay, okay. Are you calling just to poke uh, fun at me? Okay, you, never mind. Eventually, you're back for real. Let's. Okay. No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone. Oh! <laughs> and the truth of Dream Flux <laughs> okay, it was real. But you also managed to escape with the help of that night of beauty. The baby girls helping one another. I fucking love it. <laughs> Argenti, my fucking king. Just always coming in clutch whenever you need him. Remember the recording you received from your trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. Oh yeah, what happened to that chip, by the way? Did we... We didn't even call the IBC at all. Like, we didn't even make use of that. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So was Diamond planning to demote me or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. <laughs> He's going to promote me to P46. All right. What will you wager? Everything! <laughs> Are we talking about a real bet here? <laughs> I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. Yeah, right, it's with Walt right now. But if it's just a friendly bet, oh. <laughs> I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ma'am? Once a gambler, always a gambler. Diamond's call. No one can predict the outcome. Yep, uh, can I wait to see in 2.3, Jade? Also, Diamond. I'm very much looking forward to him. Diamond's a him, right? We actually don't know, actually. Like, is it confirmed what Diamond's gender is? I'm hmm. on my way to Pentagoni. Uh. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final show. Yes, you're on our way to Pentagoni and, and in, <laughs> on your way to my summons. 
Sounds like I'll be out Oh, Diamond's Heat. Okay. For a while. Thanks for coming over. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you, as soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. Right, they're still the IPC and what they want to do. The seeds we planted have taken root. Hmm. Somebody listening? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Is it your boyfriend, Dr. Ratio? Oh. oh! So many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. What the heck are you doing here, Budil? One who managed to take out two Holy shit. <laughs> members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo! I just Screw Wubba Boo! <laughs> Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Not gonna lie, Boot Hill, your odds of <laughs> like even if your gun was fully loaded, I feel like Eventrine's luck would just somehow make the gun like come <laughs> fucking combust for no reason. I don't think you have any chance against this man. Tell me, where is a Swallow Snyder? A Swallow Snyder. Head of Marketing Development Departments. Have we heard that name before? Wait, have we, where have we where have we heard that name before? I'm trying to recall, but I don't know. Hmm. In the IPC trade. Oh, in the IPC Mirrored Celestia. Right, right, right. Thanks for reminding me. To be content. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, and that's cliffhanger for 2.3. And which is gonna be like the farewell Panacani arc. What a goaded fucking story. In the end, we awaken from our dreams. Man, what an absolutely magnificent fucking story. Also, hey, we got E2, uh, Harmony Trailblazer. To each other, yet united in purpose, we make the same choices. That was so fucking good. That it, that that is so so good. God, that that whole boss fight was so so hype. Man, ten out of ten freaking story. Defeat the embryo uh, philosophy Sunday, and then awaken him to reality, the beauty of reality. <laughs> oh yeah, we also unlocked the yeah the clocky event now too. Oh yes, right, this light cone. That is that is a trio right there. Tiernan, Mikhail, and oh, oh, Rosalina. Rosalina, yeah. Yeah, look. <laughs> this is what Misha would have looked like if he was an adult. Man. Uh what what yeah, what a what a really, really good story. Man, that was that was th this is probably like the best story in Honkai Star Rail so far. Go check the guest book. Uh oh, the guest book about the train. Oh, can Misha not visit anymore because Ah, uh, departed. Thank you, Space Edge. I had a great time on the Express. The clock never stops ticking, and so we have to keep going. And the trailblazing journey will never end. Man, my boy Misha. Ah, uh, I have such high respect for him now. After everything. God. Can we actually go back and, uh... Yep, there it is. You can actually challenge the Sunday Weekly boss now. It should actually really nailed it on the head right there with the whole story and everything. That's what I'm saying. Can we have just Shouty write everything from here on out? It was only so, so good. And yeah, um, we still not done with the story just yet. We still have the conclusion arc of 2.3 that we still have to wait to, but 2.3 is probably where we're gonna, yeah, say farewell to Panacani and probably we'll have a new teaser for the finale. Also, hey, Boot Hill, <laughs> my boy. Hang on, let's uh, put him up there actually, because he was fun. He was a fun guy to be around in this journey. There we go. That's a spot for him too. The whole gang, folks. The whole gang. Alrighty, but that concludes it for the story.